Welcome back. This is now part 43 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Definitely the... This is definitely the turning point in the series because finally, after a lot of talk, we are now in New Game Plus. Hooray! So, um, so we'll point forward in celebration. Uh, so right off the bat, as you can see, I've uh, changed up the build a bit. Um, just using stuff that we've already got. Um, I wanted to use that Black Knight armor we had. And then I also wanted to fast roll. <laughs> so that's a, that's a hard combo to pull off. Um, so I had to, to, especially because our sword is so heavy, um, to pull it off I had to use no helmet at all and then the shadow gauntlets and legs. <laughs> so, um, but hey, look at that. We can fast roll now. Uh, we'll probably mid roll eventually again. Um, but we'll see. Either way, to sort of explain what's going on, right? So in the last episode, we beat the game, as you remember, right? We killed Gwyn, and you can see we have 122,000 souls, which might be the most we've ever had at one time. So I'd like to get to a bonfire soon. But the way it works is that once the credits roll, you know, it fades to black. You can see a loading screen. And the next thing you know, it's as if you started a new game. You get the cutscene in the asylum, and then we wake up right here. And so now we're in New Game Plus, and... What that means is that we have to do the whole thing again, <laughs> right? Um, now, we don't have to do it forever unless we want to, but we are going to do just one more cycle of New Game Plus. And by cycles, that's what I mean, is that uh, once we beat this game, for our trouble, we'll get another New Game Plus cycle, and then things get even harder. So without further ado, let's just uh, let's get going. Um, just like before, Oscar threw down the corpse at us, and we're going to use it to get the key. And then we can open the door. So a few things change in your game plus. Um, let me just check something real quick. Uh, so yeah, you get you do keep your upgrade material, but uh, you do lose a few things. Um, mainly your keys, right? So all the keys you collected are gone. So that way you have to actually play the game again. Um, but you keep just about everything else. Uh, you also lose the embers. Um, not embers. What are they called? Uh, oh wait, they might actually be embers. <laughs> The, the things that you give to, to the blacksmiths so that you can upgrade your weapons. So make sure you do your upgrades before you're uh, ready to move on to New Game Plus. Uh, thankfully we're done, we got our sword. It's plus five already. Um, so yeah, like I said, everything gets harder in New Game Plus. It's uh, sort of like the main challenge, I guess you could say. Um, all the enemies are gonna have a little bit more health. They're all gonna do a bit more damage. And um, I think that's about it really. <laughs> And then you also get some more souls, which is kind of cool. Uh, so just like before, this bonfire doesn't actually let you do much yet. Uh, you can attune magic, but otherwise, don't really care too much. Uh, we're just going to go in. So one cool thing is, normally when you start the game, you don't have a weapon at this point, right? Now, oh, another thing to point out, all the shortcuts are reset. The whole world is completely a fresh start. That also means all the items are going to be in the place. So all the items and all the weapons that you can only find one of, think of like the Zweihinder, we're gonna be able to find another one, and then if you would like, we could upgrade it differently. Um, not that we care. Like I said, we're just mainly gonna use this sword here. Um, but like I said, normally you don't have a weapon at this point, so unless you want to kill it with the broken sword, or if you started with black fire bombs, you can do this too. But a new game plus, you can pretty much always fight this demon on the first go. And let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. Nice miss. And number two, get it. All right, so you'll notice we're killing it pretty quickly. <laughs> um, that's because there's a bit of an awkward sort of gap with New Game Plus, where um, even though everything gets harder, uh, you're still starting the game with end game equipment, assuming you, uh, you've you been upgrading and leveling and doing all that. So the early part of New Game Plus is actually going to be way easier, <laughs> just for that reason, because it doesn't get so much harder. but. Once we, we'll, we'll hit a tipping point, about somewhere in the halfway point where things do get harder. So anyway, I don't think we can open this door yet. We still gotta get the key to that door, which we'll get from Oscar. Um, and you notice too, when we killed it, we got his uh, Great Hammer. Which you only get if you kill him in the before you have to drop down to fight him. It's so basically what we just did. Uh, so still can't level up here, which is uh, kind of annoying actually. Everything else is still the same, like, and in fact, I think we'll find another heater shield here, yep. And then we'll even find a, a long sword right there. I guess I'll pick up, but this is where things are going to start to get really cluttered. 
yeah, I'll sort of just pick up what I can. Um, but I won't go out of my way to grab annoying things. Alright, take care of him. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Uh, so yeah, same old tutorial that we know. Um, yeah, the, the rock is still going to be there, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and just open the door like last time. So this is where um, I've been thinking. Um, yeah, I've sort of showcased all the NPC dialogue and all the things in the last playthrough in the original. And that was kind of the intention of the plan, right? So with this playthrough, um, I'm going to do something a little different. If, uh, if we've already heard from them and we don't care, I'm just going to sort of smack people dead, right? <laughs> this is going to be our... Uh, our sort of bad boy playthrough, I guess you could say, right? We ain't got no time to talk, we ain't got no time to do quests. We're just making, we're just gonna hit our goalposts, which are basically gonna be, I wanna kill all the bosses, right? And I wanna kill them without doing any summons. So a lot of the bosses in the first playthrough, I, uh, I would summon any NPCs that are available for the fight just to sort of showcase them. But this time I wanna do all bosses completely on my own. Um, that being said, uh, I do still want to do some co-op stuff. So, um, I don't think, I did, I did no multiplayer <laughs> in the original playthrough. Um, but I do want to showcase, um, all kinds of multiplayer. I think I want to do something with each covenant and at least, at least showcase each one once. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so part of that is going to be, I do want to show summoning another player at least once. So. Maybe one of the early bosses, which we know are like easy, I can, I'll do that just because, you know, I could probably beat the Taurus Demon on my own, we don't have to prove that now. Um, and then that could be fun to bring someone on. So stuff like that, I might summon someone, but for the most part, it's going to be all on my own, like uh, Orange Seed and Smo, I'm going to do by myself this time. Uh, and forget who else. Okay, oh, uh, also going to do anything more challenging, right? So if you remember the Gaping Dragon. There was a channeler which uh, you should have killed. Otherwise, he's gonna upgrade the dragon to be a lot harder. And um, yeah, we're gonna leave him alive this time. <laughs> so all those things we'll get to as we go. I just sort of wanted to set the pace, um, explain. And that also means in general, since we're not gonna be stuck to smell all the roses, um, I do want this to sort of. I want to have like a good marching pace, you know. Um, so means I'm probably going to skip some cutscenes, right? Like, we saw that. We know that the crow is going to take us to the Undead Asylum. I mean, to Lorgen. So no need to do that. Um, yeah, this guy here. Uh, so we've talked to him. He's going to be all Mr. Downer. Tell us to ring the bells. We don't We don't need to hear it. Uh, three humanity. So that's nice we get that. I might... See, the thing is, though... Um, actually, no. I do want to check. Uh, so I do have a little dirty secret. I've never actually finished a new game plus ever in Dark Souls. Um, I've started, like, I've gotten to this point, but typically it's like, once I get here, I might, like, fight the first boss, but at that point, either I'm like, I've had my fill of Dark Souls, right? Like, I just beat the game, and then I'm gonna move on to something else, or um, I just sort of... Lost, Soul of the Lost Undead. I don't, is that bigger than normal? Um, so that's the thing, I don't know too many things about new game plus. Um, like, for example, I know in Dark Souls 3, a lot of the soul items are replaced with slightly bigger versions. Uh, so no, I think that's just the normal small one. So no need to find too much stuff at the beginning of Firelink Shrine because because uh, we already have plenty of souls, as you can see. And oh, I should probably level up. I just realized. Um, we'll get to that in a second, right? Uh, first, let's just grab the important things like the red eye orbs and. The homered bones aren't here. We don't need another maze. We don't need another talisman. Um, we don't need Lloyd's. Actually, you know what? I will grab these <laughs> Lloyd's talismans since, like I said, we're going to do some PvP stuff. And, uh, that might come in handy when I'm trying to be an, an anno annoying invader. And, okay, so as you can see already, these uh, skeletons have way more health than last time. Ooh, nice. Let's try trying to parry me. Um, but yeah, they were able to survive it. And normally they can't do that. So that should uh, let you know what we're going to be in for with some of the later bosses. Okay, so let's see how many hits this guy takes. Okay, he survived a strong attack. That's uh, kind of scary. Get another wing spear. Um, I will grab another spy hander just because yeah, I feel like we need to. One of my favorite swords. Which I might have mentioned by now. Okay, well, that'll work. 
Okay, two quick attacks even. All right, so uh, it's by hander, and I already have binoculars. We don't, we don't need more. So yeah, Just gonna escape the cemetery now. <laughs> Uh, not too much business for here. The, the game is going to be exactly the same, right? So we still need to go up to the Undead Parish, and we still need to go and uh, ring the bells, and then we're going to ultimately go to Sense Fortress to get the Enerlando, and then eventually get the Four Lords again to fight Gwyn. It's all going to be... It's exactly the same. Uh, I do want to point out one thing. Oh, that's that's a ghost of another player, by the way. Uh, when you're online, um, things like this happen, <laughs> where by bonfires, you'll just sort of see these sort of like ghostly phantoms of other players um i don't know if that's like what they're doing right now if that's like sort of where they were a few minutes ago but, um yeah either way let's level up so at this point we're kind of just steadily getting our intelligence and faith up since those are what's gonna scale with our uh our sword at this point and um i'm gonna use some more cells here because you know this is never going to go away, where I'm just awkwardly using just under what I need. Like a thousand. Like, I, I guarantee you I'm going to need, like, 47,700. Um, oh, look, 900. <laughs> yeah, this this part of the game is never going to change, guys. Um, in fact, you know what? Forget it. I, I, I'm confident I'm not going to die between now and the next bonfire. So let's make our way up there and uh, see what we can do. Uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, even though I said we're going to kind of just skip quest stuff if we don't need it. Um, ah. Okay, that, that hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, I am going to do things, any, th any quests that um, sort of had two choices, um, I am going to showcase the other choice from what I chose in the original playthrough. Right, so... Uh, I got some examples here. Let me just check my document. Um, uh, okay, it looks like 90% of it is just going to be me um, sort of killing people that <laughs> might drop cool items. But uh, trust me, there are a few, and I don't want to just stare at the document this whole time. So I'll, I'll mention it when it comes up, but just keep that in mind. Like There are going to be little things that I'll still show you guys, but for the most part, we're just kind of rushing our way through. Um, and in fact here. So things like that. I gotta, that's on me. I gotta sort of skip over the little things. Like, like we have enough humanity. We don't, we don't need to kill the rat. So you're spared for now, buddy, even though I just wasted more time. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep this fast roll set up because, uh, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> uh, had to really trim down to way enough. And as you saw just from that firebomb, um, not only is everyone doing more damage, but if we're going to be a light build, that means we have even less armor to handle it, so this could be bad. Um, I also realized that I did not upgrade any armor uh, before New Game Plus, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, we'll sort of get to that by the end of it. And, uh, yeah. I do also want to try to showcase some more spells. Oh, god. Right, uh, looking over some of my past videos, that's one thing I think I didn't do quite enough of. As, oh, jeez, look at all that damage. We're already almost dead. Actually, no, we're not. We're not. We are still alive. Uh, but yeah, like, I literally just, like, I put all these points into faith and intelligence and then just barely used pyromancy. <laughs> like, I think uh, I think I can do it a little bit better, is uh, what I'm trying to say. So, that being said, let's, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what I can do. So rather than that, what, uh, what spells we got? Uh, Wrath of the Gods is cool, but I don't have enough faith for it, of course. Uh, ooh, a mid force. Let's, let's use a mid force. Let's also use. Um, how about. Okay, we'll still use a little bit of Pyromancy. Fire Surge. I never, never showed you guys what that looks like. Um, and then what else we got here? Tranquil Walk of Peace, maybe. Uh, maybe Fake Experience could be cool. Uh, Gravelord Dance, that's basically like the Chaos Storm, but it's um, just like Nito's swords will come out of the ground. Um, let's see here. Um, ooh, hidden Body. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, Chameleon is the fun one. <laughs> in fact, I think we we're going to equip Chameleon just uh, just in case we do get to do some um, multiplayer. Speaking of which, you do need to be human 
uh, for multiplayer to happen. Uh, that means we can get invaded and we'll start to see summon signs and all that stuff. Um, also, one other thing, as you notice, there's a bunch of blood stains everywhere. Uh, what these are are kind of cool. Um, anytime a player dies and uh, their blood stain is there, uh, other players that are connected um, can actually tap them. And you'll see there's his ghost over there. And yep, he just jumped off. Uh, when a player dies, their blood stain is here, and it's basically a replay of their final 10 seconds before death. So um, you'll notice, like, you'll see a lot of blood stains just by edges. You'll see people walk off them all the time. Which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, maybe not laugh at people. Ooh, I just had an idea. So uh, I gotta level up, first of all. Let's do that. Uh, I keep getting our intelligence. Let's get to 28 intelligence. Uh, oh, sorry. Faith. Because I want to show you guys Wrath of the Gods, because that's kind of fun miracle. Uh, and then... Okay, Covenant. I only have Dark Moon Blade. Well, um... <laughs> I thought I got more Covenants than that. So, in that case, uh, that's fine. We're just going to be Dark Moon Blades for now, I guess. Uh, so actually, let me just make sure it's equipped. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, whoa, alright. Let's say to get up there. Um, dark moon. Already belongs to this cover. Okay, so we're in the Dark Moon Blade, that's fine. Uh, let's see if we can. Yo, first, let's kill these guys, so that way we don't, we don't get bum rushed here. Uh, basically, I want I want there to be more summon signs, and since there's none right now, that could be a problem. Um, either let's give it a few seconds. See if anyone spawns. So the problem with New Game Plus is that uh, summoning is like relative to your level, and with New Game Plus, since you're at max level, things get kind of complicated. Uh, you will find that overall, there's going to be some people in some spots, just because you know other people are doing New Game Plus as well. But the problem is that uh, we're obviously not going to connect with anyone that's starting the game. We're going to have to just get lucky and hope someone doing New Game Plus is strolling through, which. Um, it's a lot more rare, so yeah. Uh, multiplayer might be a bit sparse. <laughs> um, worst case, I'll just sort of devote some time to doing multiplayer stuff and then attach the clips near the end. But um, either way, for now, let's well, just uh, you seem to have say hello to our merchant here. <laughs> uh, so purchase items. I mean, he's got nothing new. Just you know, simple weapons, the key, the prayer box, all that stuff. Uh, dried fingers will buy because that is a uh, multiplayer item. Basically, if you get invaded, normally you'll have like a 15 or 20 minute timer to not get invaded again. Just to sort of like give you some breathing room. But in case you are a madman and just want to keep getting invaded, you can use the dried fingers and it'll reset that timer. Um, so anyway, Thank you. more importantly with this guy, let me show you something different. If you actually come here and kill him early, he, uh, look at the weapon he's using. He's got an Uchi Katana. And, uh... The katana, I believe, Yulia. is Yulia, um, his his uh, wife katana kind of thing. So he drops this, the key because otherwise, if you kill him, you can't buy it. But he also drops the Uchi katana. So if um, if you don't care about what he sells and you're coming here early, like that's a nice weapon to just get, especially if you're trying to do like a dex build, of course. Um, but I just want to kill him to show you guys. <laughs> so we are not going to be using Yulia, unfortunately. Um, Cool weapon though, but like I said, we uh we put in the effort for this weapon. So anyway, um, let's see what else can we do. I think we can get to the uh, get to the Taurus demon today for sure. And I also want to should I have a talisman here somewhere. I think so. All right. Because I need a talisman to shoot emit force. Uh, I've got a catalyst. Oh no. Okay. Uh, new plan. <laughs> We're gonna go back to Firelink Shrine. Oh wait, I just realized. I think I have it in the storage box. Okay, so let's give you. Yeah. Sorry guys. It's been uh, as you might know. Um, I took a took a week off between um, my last recording. Uh, just because you know I wanted to take a breather. So I'm a little bit rusty with some things here. So bear with me as I get back into the swing. Um, let's see, is there a talisman here for me? It's gotta be. Um, 
maybe? I think we're getting to the talisman stand here. Kettle's kettle stand. There we go. It's just a simple talisman. That's all that's all I ask for. All I ask for, guys. Um okay, so we're gonna need oh, we're gonna be using all three here. Uh so let's get our catalyst and then let's also get the talisman that we got, which is down by the shields. Right here. Okay. So now we can we can do pyromancy, faith, and sorceries, just like we originally planned. So let's uh, start with this emit force here. So this is a fun. Oh well. Um. <laughs> so that's emit force. Let's ease on this guy. Yeah. So that's a fun. <laughs> it takes a while to cast it, but then you shoot a big bubble. Um, and it was hard to tell with him, but let's see if uh, he's on this guy. Yeah. It shoots them back, and they kind of ragdoll. Um, it's killing them in one hit, so I want to see if we can use it on an enemy that it won't kill right away. Uh, let's also try a fire surge. That sounds like it'll be fun. Okay, so for that, we're going to need our pyromancy flame, which I will put in this hand for now. So, yeah. This is like basically just like a steady flamethrower that you can shoot out. Really cool one. <laughs> I like this. I never actually used this pyromancy before. I should use it more. <laughs> and then finally, we have Chameleon. So this is um, a very fun one to use with multiplayer. Um, it's basically got no use for um, for when you're just uh -huh, playing through by yourself. And that's because the way it works is you cast the spell, and now you blend in with the environment. Um, oh, I was wrong. Apparently enemies... They won't notice you. <laughs> so actually, this could be a fun if you're doing like a stealth build. Um, but trust me, this is a hundred times more funny when it's a player. You can also move while you're doing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, no one, they'll, they'll never know. And trust me, there are definitely some parts in the game where uh, it is incredibly difficult to tell <laughs> what's going on. So let's, uh, let's try out these spells for now. Um, there might be some else to use though. Nah, we'll stick with this, we'll stick with this. Um, like I said, I'm gonna sort of mix it up as I play. Um, yeah, anyway, I think that'll be a good stopping point. Um, we probably could rush into towards teaming, but I don't want the episode to drag on too long. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I will leave it at that. So guys, thank you for watching. Um, oh, yes, thank you too. Um, Hope you had fun. I had fun making it. It's good to be back. And uh, yeah. Take care.